Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we will have our first Yu-Gi-Oh! product on the channel and it will be the 2002 Dark Magician Holiday Tin. Before we start with this, I just want to say that I've seen a lot more interaction and suggestions and feedback in the comments here recently. I do appreciate that. It's always great interacting with you guys, so just keep it up. Keep giving me suggestions, different ideas for videos. I also know that a lot of you have your own channels, and so in my next video, when I get back to Dragon Ball Z, I'll do some shout outs in that video for who's requested what, and then also link, um, put some links to your channels in the description as well. So thank you so much for that. I'm really enjoying it, and I hope you guys enjoy this first Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your memories are of Yu-Gi-Oh! This is gonna take us right back to Season one, Duelist Kingdom, this is from 2002. I remember at that time watching these episodes uh, with my brother every night at seven o'clock. It would come on after Pokemon, I think. It was Duelist Kingdom and then Battle City shortly after. This was on Cartoon Network. So many memories here before I take off the plastic wrap. Just wanted to show it from the front and the back. I'm really excited to do this one. I bought this four years ago. It was a little over a hundred dollars then, but now these tins, some of them are going for five, six hundred dollars, some even close to a thousand. So really rare product. I'm really glad I left it in the box until now. So I can share it with everybody. Here at the bottom we've got the Exodia head, Millennium Puzzle, and the Yu-Gi-Oh Sun, one more Exodia head, and the symbol, and then Yugi and the Dark Magician. So we're not going to wait too much longer, we're going to get this open, and we also have some of these packs and sleeves for any rare cards or holographic cards that we get. Nothing special, you can pick those up for a few bucks at the store, but just to protect the cards. So, I'm just going to lift this plastic up a little bit. Let's get this tin out of here. After 18 years. I'm going to set it free. Just keep that in there. There we go. There it is. So you can see it a little bit clear now without the plastic. I love it. When I first got into Yu-Gi-Oh, I remember seeing this tin at the store. And back then, they were only going for 20, 25 bucks. The first one I wanted. And then when I saw the Red Eyes Black Dragon, it became my favorite monster. And I switched over to Joey and the Red Eyes. But this was the first, first Yu-Gi-Oh product I ever saw that I really wanted. So I'm really excited to open this. Let's go ahead and get the lid off. And we'll set that off to the side. We'll leave it here so you can see it. And then there are the packs. So we've got one Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. And then we've got another Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, classic Konami symbol. And then we have one of two Metal Raiders. And here's the second one. And then the classic magic ruler. Let's set that one off to the side. And then let's get out the star of the show. There we go. And there it is. The dark magician limited edition. I love the holographic on this. Secret rare look. Beautiful card. And we're going to go ahead and get that in the sleeve right away to avoid damaging it. And then here it is one more time. Wow. Wanted this card for such a long time. Wanted this tin for such a long time. And Fortunately, I was able to come across it on eBay. I bought several of these a few years ago, and I wish I hadn't opened up the other one so we could do them all here, but 
I'm really glad I saved this one. So we're gonna get that tin bottom out of the way. I'm gonna put that here. And let's pop these packs over here as well. I think we'll start with, uh, let's go with Legend of Blue Eyes. That'll be our first one. So try to carefully open these so we can put them back in the pack. Once we get the cards out, just like the figures, I like to put the cards right back into the into the pack and store them in the tin. There we go. Just give them a quick smell. You guys know the classic smell of Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah, they still have it. Wow, after all this time, finally getting them out. So we got One-Eyed Shield Dragon, Yumi, Rumi, I always said Yumi, Hinotama Soul, you guys can just see these classic cards, you know, 600 attack, 500 defense, there's not much you can do with these today, there's not much you can do with them back then. Like 700 attack, 1300 defense. Love it. When oh, there's our rare card, we have a holographic mystical elf. It's pretty neat. We'll set her off to the side and we'll put all the rare cards in the sleeves at the end and look at them one more time. Frenzied Panda, Silver Fane, classic Yugi card, Electro Whip. And King Fog. Wow, so many memories here. I think I stopped following Yu Gi Oh right around the time that Yu Gi Oh GX ended, so I'm not familiar with a lot of the new cards and new gameplay, but these classic ones, the nostalgia always gets me. I grew up with these. There's Mel Raiders. This was always my favorite pack growing up. I don't know if there's any particular reason, but if I ever went to the store to pick out packs, I'd always just grab Metal Raiders. Until I found out that Magic Ruler had the Serpent Knight Dragon. I liked Rex Raptor too, so I wanted to get that card. And I kind of switched over to, to Magic Ruler. Never pulled the Serpent Knight out of there, but I was able to trade with a friend in uh, fourth grade. So we'll set this pack off to the side. And let's see what we got here. It's Niwa Tori. Swallows enemies whole and uses their essence as energy. It's interesting. Electric Lizard. We got Thunder Dragon. Ryuka Shin Powered. Interesting card. And then we have a Solemn Judgment. I actually don't think I've ever gotten this card in any pack that I've opened, so that's pretty. Pretty neat. Another holographic. So two packs, two holographic cards. Not too bad. Wow. Pay half your life points when your opponent either activates a magic trap card or summons a monster. To negate the action, destroy the magic card, trap card, or summon monster. Yeah, I used to play this old uh, Game Boy game from the early 2000s, and I'm pretty sure this card did something totally different. That's interesting. Maybe kind. Kadanari attack. We've got Giga Tech Wolf. And Soggy the Dark Clown. I always loved Soggy the Dark Clown. It was one of Kaiba's go to monsters early in the series. He'd always pair him up with the virus card. That's what I need to get him. Let's see. Let's go back to Legend of Blue Eyes. And I think we'll save Magic Ruler for last. Get this pack open. Maybe an Exodia piece in this one, hopefully. <laughs> we got another Hinotama Soul. Another Armile. Oh, the 13th Grave. It's a neat card. Looks like a Bakura or Bones card. 
a zombie that suddenly appeared from plot number 13, an empty grave. It's pretty creepy. Uh, Urabi or Urabi, classic dinosaur. When I first got into Yu-Gi-Oh, I tried to build a dinosaur Rex Raptor deck, and there weren't many dino cards out at the time, so this was one of the ones that was always kind of a staple of a, I guess, a self-made Rex Raptor deck, because it was one of the few dinos you could actually find. We've got Dragonus, the Wicked Knight. I think we've actually pulled both of these to, to make this fusion for 1,200 attack and 900 defense. Not a lot of good that's going to do you, but we've got a card right here. You don't even have to fuse. It's got just as much attack and more defense. It was interesting, those early fusion monsters. I never really found much of a purpose for them. Like this Tripwire Beast. Skull Redbird. Got a Missile Launching Fish protected by Deadly Spikes. It's an interesting one. And then Yami, one of the staple cards in the Yugi starter deck. Never used it, but always had a ton of them. Let's see, one more. Metal Raiders. Maybe we can pull a Gate Guardian, Black Skull Dragon. I'd take either one of those. Let's see. Not too bad, though. On top of the Holographic Dark Magician. Put him over here. On top of the Dark Magician, we got a Holographic Mystical Elf and a Solemn Judgment, so already a pretty good tin. Because in these old ones, it was so hard to pull a really rare card. So when you got a hollow or something good, it was always very exciting. Let's see, Destroyer Golem. That Black Land Fire Dragon. My brother always used this card back in the day when we used to duel. It's a neat one. Pretty cool art. Got Prevent Rat, good defense points for, for back in the day, 2000. Launcher Spider, looks like a Bandit Keith card. I'm not sure if he used this in this duel with Joey. I think he did. Let's see, we got Robin Goblin. That's our rare card. So not the hollow we're hoping for, but no big deal. Got to have low expectations when you're doing these old tins. Guardian of the Labyrinth, interesting card. We got Tainted Wisdom, it's a cool looking brain. Harpy Lady, classic. And this is the old Harpy Lady art. You can see it shows a little bit more of her after the original packs. I think the ones they printed, she had fully clothed all the way up to her arms, neck and everything. So this is the classic original art, Harpy Lady. The Yato Karu. So we got one more pack. It's gonna be Magic Ruler. Maybe we'll pull that uh, Secret Rare Serpent Knight Dragon. Highly unlikely, but we can always hope. Let's go ahead and get that. Get that open. That one's not cooperating on that end. Let's try it down here. Have to open up this one a little bit more. Than the others, but no big deal. Set that off to the side. Let's see what we got here. Whiptail Crow. Pretty good card. 1650 attack, 1600 defense. Looks pretty neat too. Attacks from the skies with a whip like tail. Performance of Sword. I had so many of these growing up. My brother did too, so did all my friends. Nobody ever used it. Not really sure why you would, but pretty common card. Giant turtle who feeds on flames. A crimson shell tortoise that feeds on flames. <laughs> pretty straightforward. A magical labyrinth. And a rare cyber jar. Pretty useful card. Love the way that looks. Set that one down. So it doesn't look like we're going to be getting a secret rare in this pack, but no big deal. Upstart Goblin. Interesting art. Got Ceremonial Bell. Kododama. Not familiar with this one. Pretty creepy. And we've got Octoburser. 
not familiar with this one either. And I, I've looked through these cards so many times. I used to sit on toywiz.com and go through every single pack to see all the cards that were in there. And these last two I've actually never seen before. So it's pretty neat. With the head of a fish and the legs of an octopus, this strange creature attacks enemies by flinging spears. <laughs> I came up with that one. It's pretty neat. So that's it for our packs. Let's go ahead and get our holographics in the sleeves just to give them a little bit more protection. So there's our mystical elf from Legend of Blue Eyes. Had an issue focusing in on the Green Goblin pumpkin in the last video and had somebody leave a comment and said, just put your hand behind it and it helps. And I just did and it helps. So thank you so much for that comment and the advice. And then let's go ahead and get our Solemn Judgment. And then one more look at the Dark Magician, the star of the show. That's the most important thing. Having this guy, the other packs, they're fun to open. It's neat to see the cards, but this is the real treasure. It's a beautiful card. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm gonna go ahead and get this lid back on the tin. And I brought quite a few of these pouch, uh, little protective pouches. Probably a little too ambitious for these old packs. But at least we got to use three of them. So there's our tin one more time. And then let's get the card on there too. So you can see. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know down in the comments some of your favorite monsters, some of your favorite memories from Yu-Gi-Oh! And I look forward to the next video. We'll be going back to Dragon Ball Z. We've got more Spider-Man on the way. And then we're also going to be introducing some Inuyasha figures. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time.